I'd like to call this council meeting to order. The first item of business tonight is a public hearing. Uh, could we have, Diane, would you take roll? Councilman Collins. Here. Councilman Acord. I'm here. Councilman Roger Stewart. Here. Councilman Tony Stewart. Here. Councilman Greek you. Here. Councilman Rudolph. Here. Councilwoman Sanders. Here. Councilman Nicklick. Here. Councilwoman McKibben. Here. Okay, fine. We have ordinance 6968. Could you read that by title only? Ordinance 6968 is a petition for vacation of alley right of way. Jessica Woodward, Woodard, whose address is 1608 North Indiana Avenue, Kokomo, Indiana, petitions the Common Council of the City of Kokomo for the vacation of a right of way in Kirkpatrick and Scott's second edition, Center Township, Power County, as recorded in Platte Book 1, page 71. Fine, thank you. What we would like to know now, or are there any public comments, cares, or concerns that anybody would like to express to us tonight? Hearing none. Do we have any from the council? Hearing none, we'll move on to the regular council meeting. Uh, invocation, Cindy. Yes, um, I'd like to invite Pastor Joyce Harris to the microphone. She's from First Evangelical Presbyterian Church. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. It's a privilege to be here. Um, before I pray, just uh, a Bible passage from 1 Timothy. I urge you then, first of all, with that petitions and prayers, intercession and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in godliness and holiness. This is good and pleasing our Savior who wants all people to be saved and come to the knowledge of truth. So I come with thanksgiving for you in your service. Let's pray. Lord, George, Lord Jesus, thank you for those in this room, for the gifts and skills and experience that is represented here. We say thank you. Lord, I pray that they would be able to rule well, quietly, in their business of simply living in this complex world that we live in. Lord, grant humility and thoughtfulness as needed. Lord, we pray for an ability to listen well, even in the masks that we have to wear in this season. Lord, give courage in making the hard decisions that are there. And we call upon you above all for wisdom. Wisdom to make a way forward in issues that we don't have a clue on wisdom for decisions that would please you and lord grow this city in a way that honors you and the people residing in it thank you again for this privilege we pray these things in jesus name amen amen, amen. councilman greek you would you lead us in the pledge I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Diane, could you do roll call again? <laughs> Councilman Collins. Here. Councilman Acord. Here. Councilman Roger Stewart. Here. Councilman Tony Stewart. Here. Councilman Griecio. Here. Councilman Rudolph. Here. Councilwoman Sanders. Here. <coughs> Councilman Nicklin. Here. Councilwoman McKibben. Here. Thank you. Everybody has uh, received the min the uh, the minutes, and I <coughs> entertain a motion to pass the minutes from the last meeting. So moved. Got a motion and a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Communication. 
we will ask the audience, do you have any communication that you want to bring up to us at this point? Nothing? That's good. Hearing none, we'll move on to committee reports. Do we have any committee reports that the council wishes to share with us at this time? <clears throat> no committee reports. We're moving along well. I like that. Ordinance 6967. Would you please read that, Diane, by title only? Ordinance number 6967 as amended is an ordinance establishing an ordinance violations bureau for the city of Kokomo, Indiana. Care. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, this is the second and final reading of ordinance 6967. Um, it's an ordinance establishing the violations bureau for the city of Kokomo. The city of Kokomo reviewed its policy as it relates to ordinance violations and the enforcement of ordinances and the collection of any fines associated with the violation. The city of Kokomo found that a centralized system for enforcement of certain city ordinances and the collection of fines levied by the city for any violations would be in the best interest of the city of Kokomo and its citizens. The establishment of the Violations Bureau is the most efficient and cost effective to meet the goals to inherit the good city, of good city government. The establishment in section one is the location and personnel of the Kokomo Ordinance Violations Bureau. The establishment will be, the Kokomo Violations Bureau is in established pursuant of the IC code for the purpose of accepting admissions of responsibility for ordinance violations designated as municipal civil infractions and to collect and retain civil fines and costs for such violations prescribed herein. The Bureau will be located in City Hall or an office designated by the City Executive and the personnel shall all be, the Bureau shall all be City employees and the City Controller shall be designated as the Administrator of the Bureau with all of the organizations. Section two discusses the Bureau of Authority. Section three is the notice requirements. Section four is the admission of the violation and what steps need to be done if there is a admission or denial of the violation. Um, there will be section five of records and accounting of the Bureau and the city council at such intervals as the city council may be required concerning the number of admissions and denials if the citation shall be um, permitted to us. The availability of other enforcement options, the remedies set forth herein are not exclusive to the city. Nothing in this ordinance shall be deemed or preluded to the city from initiating any other legal action to enforce the city ordinances, including but not limited to the injunctive relief, abatements, liens, or any other relief allowed by the city, state, or federal law. Section eight is the schedule of fines. Um, and then there is an amendment on the last page of this, and it says, fines listed in this ordinance shall serve as an amendment to the above named code sections upon the passage of ordinance 6967. The amounts for each offense shall be incorporated in the Kokomo Municipal Code. I move for passage of Ordinance 6967. We have a motion to pass ordinance uh, on the second reading, 6967. We have a motion. motion. Do we have a second? Do we have any comments from the audience on the animal ordinance? Oh, well, it's a violation of Bureau. I'm sorry. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, hearing none, we have a motion and a second. All in favor of passing this ordinance, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ordinance carries. Ordinance 6968, would you read that, Diane, by title only? Thank you. Um, ordinance 6968 is a petition for a vacation of a right of way. J 
Councilman Acord. Yeah, Mr. President, uh, Jessica Woodard, whose address is at 1608 North Indiana, Kokomo, Indiana. That's kind of symbolic. 46901 petitions the Council of the City of Kokomo for a vacation of right of way in the Kilpatrick and Scott South Edition. Center Township, Howard County, Indiana, as recorded in Plot Book 1, page 71, in support of the petition. Um, I, I move that we pass this on first reading, but it has some issues that we'll talk about later for the second reading. Do we have a second? Do we have a second? Roger. Do we have any uh, comments from the audience on the alley vacation? None. Uh, we have a motion and a second to pass 6968 on the first reading. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Ordinance 6963. Uh, would you please read that? Diane by title only. Ordinance 6963 is an ordinance fixing the budget for various departments, boards, and commissions of the City of Kokomo, Indiana, be it ordained by the Common Council of the City of Kokomo, Indiana. Mr. Council President. Mick Mr. President. Yes. Sir. I would like to present Ordinance 6963 on behalf of the Common Council. Support. Thank you. The ordinance fixing the budgets for the various departments and boards and commissions of the city of Kokomo, the budgets of the various departments and boards and the commissions of the city for the year under the general fund amount to $44,510,522. The other property tax back funds accounts for $20,750,913. And the non-property tax back funds accounts for $6,097,510 for a total of $71,358,945. The public hearing will take place on September 13th with final reading on September 28th to adopt the budget. With that said, on behalf of the mayor and the administration of the city, I would like the council to uh, to approve the budget on first reading. Do I have a motion? Do we have a second? Support. Cindy, support. Do we have any, uh, we have a motion and a second to pass this ordinance. Do we have any comments from the audience? Comments, cares, or concerns? Okay, we have a motion and a second to pass ordinance 6963. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? No. No. Okay, take a roll, <coughs> on, Diane. Acord? No. Collins? Yes. <coughs> Stewart? Roger Stewart? No. Tony Stewart? Yes. Greek you? Yes. Sanders? Yes. Micklick? Yes. McKibben? No. Rudolph? Yes. Six to three. Okay. Can you give us the results, please? Six to three. Six, Six to yes, three. three no. The motion passes. Uh, resolution 2750. Uh, would you please read that, Diane? It's a, the resolution. Resolution number 2750. Whereas it has been determined now that is necessary to transfer funds. Mr. Collins. Mr. President, I would ask that the Common Council would adopt resolution 2750. Support. Be resolved by the Common Council of the City of Kokomo that the following balance be transferred for the purpose here and specified subject to the laws governing the same in the amount of uh, $41,090 to the for police rental and $100,000 for attorney legal fees. This resolution shall remain in force and effective from 
and after its passage signature by the mayor and the publication as provided by law. I would ask that the Common Council would adopt Resolution 2750. I have a motion and a second. Second. Okay, all in favor of uh, passing Resolution 2750 signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, hearing, is there any other business that the council wants to bring up right now? If not, this council is adjourned. <laughs>